I've mentioned a couple of things about these anyway, and I've gone through them, but I just wanted to give you a chance to re-watch the video if necessary. So two ways to get students to submit work. The first one is the forms, which are much better, I think, for like multiple choice questions, questions with easy answers um, and kind of getting them to do something quickly and getting feedback and being able to feedback and address it. And the second one is getting them to do an assignment live during the lesson if you um, stay on the call and you can watch them doing it and give them feedback and, you know, engage and answer questions. So the first one is the quiz. So just to remind you where to do that, you click create quiz. And it's going to take you to a new, uh, ideally you want to click new quiz from here. I've, for some reason, I've tried doing it directly onto Microsoft um, Office and um, through the forms thing, and it's not the same. Um, there's probably a way to change it, but I haven't figured that out yet um, because it doesn't allow you to add scores to it and it doesn't then um, link up. So either way, I, I would suggest doing it this way because that's the best way I found it. So you go through and here is where you assign marks per question. So you should pop one in, for example, um, say this one's the correct answer. Uh, let's go. Yeah. We'll see that. No, yeah, that'll do. Question. Quiz. Let's call it fake. Quiz. Okay, so once that's done and it's it syncs, obviously, um, Microsoft does these amazing things. If I go back to my team and I create that quiz. Fake quiz, there it is. OK, and um, here is where I then set it for the students. Now, and you, it then comes up. It's not going to work now, is it? Because I haven't got any real students. Oh, no, there we go. So you schedule to assign in the future and then you put a date and a time. So say the lesson starts at 9.45, I maybe put it at 9.47 um, and then it just pings up once they start coming in the call and, I, and then it'll come up on the main channel and on the assignments tab and I say to them go through the assignments or the channel and begin doing the quiz you've got five minutes then once it's done and it's all entered it then shows up on the assignment as um as a completed quiz So you can go through and click on the student and you can give them feedback if you want. I've returned them to them. Now, the way I quite like doing it in the lesson is I click open in forms. Um, it's going to come up with a student name, so I'm going to have to just edit that out. Um, I go on to the second tab here, questions. Um, and I scroll through the questions like this. This is the quickest way I would do it in a, in a classroom. So question one, the answer is Fred. Um, a couple of you put Bob, can see why you think that, etc. cetera. Um, most of you done wall photographer for number two. That's correct. Well done. Um, lovely. We know what avaricious means. Everybody got that right. Great job. Um, quotations. If you get them to enter something by word, it's quite it's been, it's, it's a bit sensitive. So I've just gone through and added points on, which you can do, but it did not allow any of those. And then the final one is a, just an open question. Um, and maybe we go through and talk through some of those answers. Here's the second um, one, and this is the one where it's probably best to look at, where you're looking at students' work, essentially. So, create assignment. Now, what you want is to have, um, a Word document of some kind with a question on. Uh, there's, there's potentially a quicker way to do this, but I personally don't know it. So I'll just quickly do it. I just thought it worth doing it all from start on here so that you can see that it is really quick. So um, say I'm getting um, year 10 to do me some questions on a Christmas carol, for example. So how is Scrooge? presented in stave one let's just i'm going to just put two. what is the importance of jacob, jacob, jacob 
question mark. OK, so let's just save that as whatever. Save as. Um, test. Test fake. I don't know if that's going to work. No, I don't know why. There we go. OK, so when you then try and assign it to a team as here, um, you click add resource here. Upload from this device, although obviously if you've done it on OneDrive, you can just do it directly through there. Test fake assignment open. It'll upload it. Done. Now, this is the important bit. Click on these three dots and put students edit their own copy, right? Because that, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know, but I'm assuming that's how I'm able to watch it live. Um, I don't have a rubric or anything, although you can add it. You can add a score, for example, if you want to. So, fake assignments. There we go. Again, exactly the same as with the first one. Um, you can click edit here and put it on a timer. So you know you're going to start the lesson, explain the task to them and you want it to ping up a couple of minutes in. Again, exactly the same as with the first one. So I'm going to click assign so it comes up. Now, when you go on to it, obviously I don't have any students on here, but when you then click onto it and students are working on it, what you then do is you have um, the list of students and it comes up here and it says viewed. You click, well, obviously once they've clicked on it, otherwise it just says not viewed. Um, you click where it says viewed and then it will load up as a screen. So when I did it, when you, as I just showed, when you click um, onto a student, this is how it shows when they're doing it as well. Um, and it's like you've got Word open. So you would then hear, so whilst the, I could literally see that the student was there, you know, when it tells you that the person's present, it had their thing. And I could go in each one and have a little look through it um, and give them feedback as they were going. And that was really good for me. Um, and I could kind of edit things and talk them through things. It was really, really good to answer questions live. Um, and it meant that I just knew how long they'd spent on it and things like that. Um, and the only other thing I would say is when doing that, just as a reminder, that this is where you click. So you've got the, sh the student name will be down here and it will say um, viewed when they're still working on it. And you um, you can, so this one here where it says viewed, it will have, I think some of them did it on a computer, for example. Um, on, so a couple of them hand wrote it, which wasn't ideal. But um, you click on the viewed and that's when you go into their document. And then I got them to hand them all in at the end, which then enables me to know who's finished it. And I can just go in and just provide them with some feedback and have a little read through what they've put. Um, the real special thing for me with that was that it was live and that I could see who was doing it and who was engaging with it and how long they were spending on it. And obviously I had a lot of questions in the chat and I was able to go in and answer them. They'd be like, oh, I'm not sure what to do with this. And, you know, like going over to read a student's book, it was the same sort of thing. So those are my two fun tips. <laughs> um, hopefully that was useful and I'll, um, I'll share anything else that I learned. Uh, see you later.